It is indeed true that military troops are well-trained and better prepared to handle any situation. However, they become much more powerful and capable when handed with the best possible gears and machines. The Oshkosh MATV and JLTV are two such tactical vehicle families that greatly assist soldiers to effectively handle almost any terrain with optimum proficiency. While the purpose of these two vehicles lineups remains the same, however, there are some significant differences between them. Anyway, before we look at the differences, let's identify the definitions of these two vehicles. The MATV refers to the Oshkosh NRAP all-terrain vehicle. It is the high-mobility, high-protection medium tactical vehicle specifically engineered for treacherous environments. Derived from the medium tactical vehicle replacement platform, the MATV is a mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle that incorporates the TAK-4 independent suspension system to provide proven, durable, best-in-class mobility. A battle-proven armor configuration provides survivable crew protection as the MATV maneuvers over the most grueling terrain. On the other hand, the JLTV is a joint light tactical vehicle. It is a United States military, specifically U.S. Army, U.S. Marine Corps, and United States Special Operations Command program to part replace the Humvee with a family of more survivable vehicles with greater payload. Early studies for the JLTV program were approved in 2006. The JLTV program incorporates lessons learned from the earlier Future Tactical Truck Systems program and other associated efforts. Regarding its variant, the MATV has a large family consisting of five different tactical vehicles that serve different purposes. From special forces to utility purposes, and it is always ready to serve on every occasion. The five lineups of MATV includes MATV Special Forces, MATV Assault, MATV Engineer, MATV Command, and MATV Utility. Meanwhile, the JLTV also has several variants, which includes four different vehicles. The four vehicles from the JLTV family are General Purpose, Heavy Gun Carrier, Utility and close combat weapons carrier with the primary purpose of helping soldiers to get to the shore in the least possible time. Which one is better transportable between these two vehicles? It is probably known that JLTVs are the light duty alternatives to the MATVs. One of the main reasons to say so is that JLTVs are more adjustable. Therefore, these vehicles are better transportable by air, land, and sea. At the same time, the lighter weight pattern also greatly helps in achieving high-end transportation capabilities. On the other hand, MATV are also portable, but they are likely to be a little heavier than JLTVs. For this reason, they probably would need better storage and space compared to JLTVs. The average weight of NRAP is around 18 tons, whereas JLTVs are lighter with only 11 tons. In terms of weights, the MATV utility lineup can withstand up to 7,000 pounds of payload. On the other hand, the JLTV combat-supported two-passenger vehicle can withstand up to 5,100 pounds of payload. With the capacity of holding up to 11 passengers, MATV is likely to be more promising when it comes to carrying more payloads. Talking about enhanced ranges, both MATV and JLTV can provide an average of 400 operational miles, allowing the troops to return to the camp with optimum safety. One of the key reasons why the U.S. military has replaced Humvee is because these vehicles are better capable of ensuring longer range with better safety. 
Additionally, when it comes to mobility and speed, the JLTV seems to bring forth more dynamicity compared to MATV. Where the MRAP can travel around 30 miles per hour, the JLTV lineups have the potential capacity to reach up to 70 miles per hour. Therefore, MATV are significantly far slower than JLTVs. Another benefit that the soldiers obtain from JLTVs is that these vehicles can go through up to 60 inches of water. The JLTVs tend to lift the vehicle when they are driven in the deep water. On the other hand, the heavier weight of MATV may not allow driver to drive in water with optimum proficiency. Therefore, JLTVs are likely to help the soldiers to operate in those areas prone to flood. When talking about their capabilities, there are several aspects that need to consider, especially when giving the Oshkosh JLTVs a bit higher point compared to the MATVs. From high-end mobility to giving the soldiers the fastest drivability, JLTVs always come in handy to give every troop high-end efficiency. Indeed, MATV carry more soldiers and do the things that this vehicle is here to perform, but the heavier weight and less mobility make it less competitive in the competition. Lastly, people also tend to compare Oshkosh MATV and JLTV with Sherp ATV due to their high-end mobility and terrain-controllable features. In fact, these tactical vehicles will remain far ahead of Sherp, being equipped with a better weapon combat system and highly superior construction. These machines are far more superior to the other conventional off-road vehicles. Even if it seems not possible to own such of these cars, learning about these vehicles should always be an intriguing topic for the off-road enthusiast. Anyway, you can now decide which one seems to be superior between these two. Feel free to drop your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more update on awesome videos.